Cultivated land can host a big variety of different insects, most of which are harmless. Some of them are even useful, and then there are those that cause serious trouble. Pests, like the cotton ball moth. Laying its eggs into the fruit, it can destroy an entire harvest. Up until today, the answer to this issue was the extensive use of pesticides, killing not only the troublemakers, but all insects. The Olefine project wants to change this. Olefine is a European Union funded research and innovation project. We have 10 partners from uh, industry and academia. Agriculture is one of the major sustainability challenges that we have to uh, uh, resolve as a society. And this is why we decided to pursue the project of insect pheromones. The Olefine project believes in the power of love instead of poison. In other words, they want to use pheromones. Pheromones are signal molecules used by uh, insects, specifically female insects, to attract uh, mating partners. Um, and uh, by making nature identical fermented pheromone and placing it in the field, the right places, you can confuse insects uh, to the extent that you uh, control the population without ever killing an insect. The pheromones that we are working with are sex pheromones. Produced by the female insects, they attract their male counterpart. For them, pheromones work like a navigation system. They follow the smell. They find each other, mate and lay their eggs. Eggs that later unfold their destructive nature as larvae. Normally in nature, they attract the male insects uh, to the female so that they can mate. Uh, but when you spread the, a lot of them in the field, they simply confuse the male insects so they cannot find the female. The use of pheromones instead of pesticides is like spamming the insect's GPS system. For the male, all of a sudden, it smells like females are everywhere, confusing it to the extent that it will not find its mating partner anymore. No mating, no eggs, no larvae, and most important, no harm to other insects, as pheromones are species-specific. So pheromones are very species-specific, so they usually work on one particular species, and uh, they also work only in the area where they are applied, so they do not have a very large action, so insects outside of the treated area can propagate freely. And this also prevents the arisal of their uh, resistance. What sounds like a romantic comedy among insects works already well in some high-value crops such as apples. But so far, only there, as the chemical production of pheromones is cost-intensive. Therefore, the idea to use life sciences to reduce production costs became the starting point for the Olefine project. Dimitris contacted us about five years ago and asked whether we could try to make some of their pheromones uh, using uh, cell factories. The way pheromones are produced now is uh, by chemical synthesis. It's very expensive, it's energy consuming. In contrast, producing them biologically has the advantage that it, they leave uh, no residues, they uh, use uh, renewable uh, feedstuff, and they are very, uh, very inexpensive. But how does nature produce these pheromones? Insects are able to create so-called enzymes, large molecules, that work like a machine and modify or assemble other molecules. In our case, they assemble pheromones. The building plan for those enzymes is within the insect's DNA and can be transferred into another organism, such as yeast. So the first step is to decode which enzymes uh, the insect is using. The next step is to express these enzymes in the yeast cell factory. And finally, you need to optimize both the cell factory and the fermentation process to make as much of this pheromone as possible. The pheromones can now be produced in large fermenters, using yeast as a host organism instead of insects. So far, the results are promising. I would say that for some of the pheromones, we are already there where we want to be. And now we are doing the trials uh, and to prove their efficacy. And then we will have to move on to the upscaling and registration process. Here in the Thessaloniki area, the yeast-produced pheromones are tested. And we compare the pheromones that are produced 
uh, pyriolefine to those that are chemically synthesized. Dimitris places different traps containing both kinds of pheromones, the synthesized ones as well as the pheromones olefine created. Comparing the number of catches in the traps gives information whether or not the biologically produced pheromones are as effective as the synthesized ones. The, the first results that we have from the fields indicate that they act in the same way. Facing these positive results, the olefine partners are optimistic that, in the near future, pheromones can replace pesticides in many areas, where today the cost would be the main obstacle. We have dialogue with uh, basically all the major uh, players in the market uh, to advance this uh, technology. And I think every, all of them are interested in, in the concept and all of them see it as a potential technology they can use in their integrated pest management solutions. That's good news for the farmers, good news for the consumers and especially good news for a lot of bugs out there.